Hey everybody, my name is Jeremiah Craig and today I have a very special video for you because one of these lizard boots is not lizard at all. One of these is a Teju lizard print, which means it's fake. It's actually cowhide. But which one is it? I'm going to tell you how you can tell the difference between a fake exotic leather and the real thing. Let's get into it. <laughs> There are lots of cowboy boot companies out there which will do print exotic leathers, which means they take a pattern or a design and basically stamp it onto the leather and then make a boot out of it. And they do this with pretty much every exotic leather that you can imagine. There is print ostrich, there is print caiman, print crocodile, print python, and print Teju lizard as well, which is what we're talking about today. And we are just going to be talking about this from the Teju lizard perspective. We could do it for caiman or ostrich in the future, but today it's just the lizard because all of these have different ways to discern whether or not it is a fake or the real thing. Cowboy boot companies are supposed to tell you if their boots are print or not. So usually it says print next to the boot. Not always though. And it would usually come with a lower price tag from the real thing as well. So it's kind of easy to tell on a website because they're supposed to tell you if they are a good cowboy boot company. But what happens if you're in the thrift store? Or what happens if you're looking at something on Craigslist or on eBay? Sometimes it can be tough to tell from the pictures. Either the lighting is bad, somebody doesn't know how to take a picture, or it's just really hard to tell because it's that good of a print. And there are really good prints out there. So let's talk about the qualities of the Teju Lizard Exotic Leather and what makes it real and how the fake prints cannot copy the real qualities of the Teju leather. Now, I know some of you back there in the back are like that kid in math class right now because you already know which one of these is fake and you're like, ooh, 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 pick me, I know which one, I know which one. Well, I'm gonna ignore you for a second because there are folks up here in the front who don't know yet. But if you are that kid in the back who's like, ooh, ooh, I wanna know down in the comments. So to start off with, I'm going to show you the qualities of a real lizard boot. So that's this Stetson right here is one of the real ones that we're looking at today. Teju Lizard is known for its small tiles and the scales. Now, there are portions of the leather that are really high off of the boot, but that's right before or right after the thinnest part where the boot bends the most. So the leather is going to follow a path that is easy to follow. It's not gonna just go off in its own direction if it can help it. So one thing that the lizard boot is so good at is taking the way that the boot bends and basically forcing it along these lines here in many situations. I mean, you will get some diagonal creases in a boot like this, but for the most part, it's going to follow these lines really well. And it, it always has a clean look because of that. Cayman does that as well. So when you have real lizard, you can tell because of one, most of the way that the boot breaks in is going to be along these tile lines. This is another real lizard boot here. This is a Nakona made in the USA. And as you can see, this is a used cowboy boot. Um, so it's had a little bit of wear in it, not as much as some others, but you can see that the lines where this boot is bent is very straight and perpendicular across this boot because it is following the lines of the tiles in this boot and also because the lines are raised so far off of this boot. Now I'm gonna show you which one of these is fake and that is this one right here. This is a Wrangler boot. It is when Wrangler was still making boots. 
Yes, the jean company, they used to make boots and this is an example of one of them. I really like the shaft in this boot, but this is not real lizard. And one of the ways that you can tell is because you're not seeing raised lines. Sure, you get a little bit of it, but it is not as significant as real lizard leather. It doesn't come up as high because it can't. It's just a stamp. It's just pressed in here. And that's another thing that you're not seeing on this print Teju lizard boot of the way that this boot has broken in. You can see that the lines are diagonal across the tiles and that does not happen in any one of these lizard boots. This is the oldest lizard boot that I have up here. And sure, there are some diagonal ways that this boot has creased, but for the most part, it stayed true to the perpendicular line of those tiles. Look at how diagonal. It's just going diagonally across those tiles there and a real lizard boot just does not break in that way. Now there's another way that you can tell that if it's a print, if there is perfect symmetry between the both boots and they look pretty much exactly the same. So scales are gonna be different. And just because a scale looks similar on this one doesn't mean it's gonna be the same over here, but oftentimes you don't have those little imperfections like you would in a real lizard boot. Now, a good example is on this Stetson boot. You can see that on the right toe, you have several tiles that aren't symmetrical to the rest of the way that the tiles are. And on the left boot, you don't get that at all. It's very symmetrical on this toe and not on this one. And you also can see that there are scars here up towards the tongue at the instep. And scarring only happens in real animals where you get the real leather. So you're not gonna get a scar in a print um, unless they're really trying hard. They gotta be trying really hard and at that point, they're just putting more money into it and it would just be worth the actual real lizard hide at that time. So that's another way that you can tell is that it looks too perfect. Now on a used pair, usually the scuffs here in the toe would have to go much deeper to go through the ridges on a lizard hide. Uh, you can see here we do have several scuffs on this lizard boot. That's my wife's, this is a Justin. And it has not gone through to the point that this toe has on this Wrangler. And I would have to say that this boot has been used much more than this Wrangler here. So that's another way to tell on a used boot if it has just a little bit of wear everywhere and the toe is already pretty much scuffed through, it probably isn't real Teju lizard leather. And finally, the last way to check if it is from a real company is the price point. A cowhide and a print is gonna be cheaper than what the real exotic leather is gonna be. So if you're buying them new, a real lizard boot isn't gonna be like 100 to $150, it's gonna be around 200 to 300, if not more, if not 400 to 500. These Stetsons here were around $530. So real lizard does come with a real higher price tag, but that's only if you're buying them new. If you're buying them from somebody who doesn't know exactly what they have, then they might be pricing it higher than what it's worth. Like if they were trying to sell these Wranglers, they're probably worth around maybe $40, maybe $50. So if they're trying to sell them for $100, they probably think that they're real lizard and they're really not worth that much. One thing that you shouldn't rely on is if the boot is pieced or not. And by that I mean they take several pieces of the lizard and stitch them together so that they can make one full piece to fit on the boot. Just because it's pieced doesn't mean that it's real. I have seen fake lizard boots that were pieced and I have seen entire boots that were made from one lizard like this. This Stetson is not a pieced lizard. It is just lizard through and through. And this one is a pieced lizard, and this one is a full lizard as well. So this is the only pieced lizard. Um, 
I wouldn't say that that is the best way to tell whether a boot is real or not because like I said, there are pieced prints and there are pieced real lizard. So if you're looking at lizard boots, whether in person or online, remember that the skin is not symmetrical. They're coming from different animals most of the time and different animals are going to have different things, different scars, different way the scales are. So if it's symmetrical, it's probably fake. If it's breaking in diagonally across where the ridges should have actually directed the bend of the boot, it's probably fake and you can tell that in pictures. The ridges also need to be high. If they don't come up high off the boot, it's probably a print and also it will take longer to scuff through if you're looking at a used pair of lizards on eBay or Craigslist. Is there any other way that you guys have noticed the difference between prints and the real thing? Definitely let me know down in the comments, but I think that was like three or four ways that I have used in the past and uh, I'm still using today. Let me know what you think about prints. Are you prone to getting them? What do you think? Um, I am really not one to go with them. I'm not a huge fan of prints just because I don't like anything fake on boots, anything pretending to be something that it's not, right? I like something that is true to itself, but that's just me. I don't have anything against people who do like prints. Thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys around. Peace. Thanks for watching. Print lizard ain't got the ridges like the real ones do. And they're usually cheaper when you're buying them new. So follow the creases in those boots. Especially if you're buying used. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching today. My name is Jeremiah Craig. And I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome cowboy boot content along with more music too <laughs> i'll see you next time peace